and um, thank you for being here. First of all, uh, uh, forgive me for my English. It's not very good, but I'm still learning it. Well, uh, I'd like uh, to, to talk uh, to, to you today about um, the concept of leadership. Uh, the structure of my presentation uh, is based uh, on a point, the first definition, then the kind of leadership, uh, leadership and geography, connection between leadership and ethics, uh, conclusion, summary, reference, and time for question. According to uh, Nordhaus, leadership is a process uh, whereby an individual influence a group of individuals to achieve a common goal. Uh, I like this definition, believe me. I really <laughs> like it. <laughs> because uh, it's simple, it's direct, and uh, it's current in every context. Uh, also, the North House uh, shows um, the four um, important aspects, the process, influence, groups, commons, goal. In fact, the leadership is a process that influences a group and the group to achieve a common goal. This process can be done through several ways. In fact, uh, six global leadership behaviors emerge uh, from the global research. Uh, first, uh, charismatic value-based and uh, leadership reflect the ability to inspire, uh, to uh, motivate, and uh, to uh, expect uh, high performance uh, from others uh, based on strongly held core values. The, the second, uh, team-oriented leadership uh, emphasize uh, team building and uh, a common goal uh, among team members. The third, uh, participative uh, leadership uh, describe uh, a leader non-autocratic and uh, who involves other in making decisions. The human-oriented leadership uh, include the modesty and uh, sen sensitivity to other um, team members. And uh, autonomous uh, refers to um, independent and individualistic leadership. And uh, the last one, um, self-productive, uh, reflect the behaviors uh, uh, that ensure the safety and uh, security of leaders of the group. Uh, it's very interest uh, interesting uh, to see how these uh, this six, uh, this six uh, way of leadership uh, behaviors have been developed in uh, different cultures. Uh, for example, um, we, can, we can see like the charismatic value based is particularly present in Commonwealth countries in Europe and Asia. Team oriented, uh, particularly present in Latin America. Participative uh, is um, especially in uh, North Europe and Commonwealth countries. Human oriented in Sub Saharan Africa. Autonomous in Central and East Europe. And self protective in Middle East and South Asia. And independently of kind of leadership, is connection with ethics is um, more and more important. Uh, in contemporary economic system. In fact, uh, in recent articles in uh, Harvard Business uh, Renew, um, two, auto, two authors uh, of world renown, uh, like uh, Nonaka and Takeuchi, have coined the, term, uh, the new term uh, uh, wise leader. Uh, they underline the, the importance of um, ethic in the concept of leader. Um, through uh, two examples. Uh, companies that manage to survive over time are those capable uh, of living in harmony with society, and companies that have social purpose while in pursuit of pro profit and ethical approach to business. In conclusion, finally, uh, it, it seems to be agreed that uh, leaders must have uh, a strategic vision, good communication skills, creativity, and the ability to trust and empower subordinates. Summary 
today I've spoken about the definition of leadership, kind of leadership, the connection the, the, between leadership and geography, uh, the connection between leadership and ethics, and the conclusion. These uh, are my reference for this presentation. And thank you for your attention. This uh, is uh, question time. Um, Alex, uh, in Italy, yes. do you think in Italy people have a different idea about leadership to the idea that you might have seen in this country? Yeah. I, I took uh, some notes of this. For example, I, I think that um, the um, different culture uh, developed a different leadership. Uh, for example, uh, the, the Italy. Uh, in Italy, uh, we can uh, we can find uh, charismatic values based uh, like uh, in, in the UK and. Um, uh, and participative. Uh, for example, uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, we we can find uh, the self uh, self protective and the human oriented. Uh, or in China, China we can find uh, the self protective and team oriented. But uh, I think uh, depend on uh, the culture of the country. Yeah, depend on the culture. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, from your opinion, who is the best leader? Oh, yeah, I think the best leader is the, the mix between uh, charismatic value based and um, team oriented and participative. Yeah, I think that the, 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 the first and second and third is more the most important characteristic of, for, for, for a leader. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Uh, can you describe uh, what is the difference between a leadership and a manager? Is there any difference? No. A manager can be a leader, leadership. but uh, sometimes a manager is a leader, but uh, it's a leader maybe can be a uh, can can do another work, uh, work. It's an, uh, can uh, can be a doctor, but uh, be a leader. Yeah. So, according to speaking, you can divide the leadership according to job. Yeah. yeah. But huh? this is. Uh, this is important this to our, develop. Yeah, yes, behaviors. The, this is a different behaviors uh, in different country. Yeah, but you. But uh, no, the job. Uh, the same job uh, can have uh, different different behaviors of leadership. Yeah, mm. depend on uh, the culture of the country. Mm. I think. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much.